Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC. And today I'm gonna teach you how to probe your tools in Z using an automatic tool setter. So the first thing that we do is we go to offsets. Now, I'm gonna probe two tools. Tool one is a large diameter, three inch Canamental shell mill. The second tool is a half inch diameter drill that comes to a point. I'm gonna show you the difference in setting both height offsets automatically. So for tool number one, we're simply gonna go up to the tool offset page. We're gonna cursor over Under tool info, you're gonna to see tool type. They're asking you, is it a drill? Is it a shell mill, a key cutter, an end mill, a tap? In this particular case, it's a shell mill. A shell mill is number three. So I'm gonna put three, enter. I'm gonna cursor over again, again, and now, it's asking for my length. The length of the tool is an approximate measurement. It's from the top of the flange to the bottom of the insert. You simply use your caliper, double check it. In this case, it's 3.920. So I'm gonna enter 3.920. All right, now that we've entered the length of the tool, we're gonna move over to the diameter of the tool. So I'm actually gonna measure center of the flat to center of the flat. It's exactly three inches. Enter three inches. I'm gonna cursor over. Now under probe tight, it currently says non-rotating. So I'm gonna come down to this box. I'm gonna look at the different types of probing. And in this particular case, because the tool is going to offset and it has openings, I want it to rotate to be sure that I get a proper zero. So number one is length probing rotating. I'm gonna place a one I'm gonna press enter. Now it correctly states rotating. I'm gonna hit tool offset measure. It brings up automatic probe options. In this particular case, I'm just gonna zero one tool. Probe select tool. Now I'm gonna take my tool. I'm gonna put it up in the spindle. I'm gonna close the doors and I'm gonna hit cycle start. So probing our three inch shell mill is complete. I'll come back over into my tool offset page and see that the height offset has been populated. Now we're gonna switch up from a wide tool, a rotating tool, to a drill with a point. The drill is gonna go center to center, hitting the probe and zeroing the height offset. I'm gonna zero out my old offset by hitting zero and F1. Tab over on the offset screen. Under the tool description, it says shell mill because that's the previous tool. Now I'm gonna look at the examples on the bottom and I see number one is a drill. So I'm gonna press one. One, enter and it changes my tool type to one, which is a drill. I cursor over to the next page, go to the diameter. I'm just gonna put the diameter of my tool. In this case, it really doesn't matter 
because the diameter, even though it's a half an inch, only the center tip is gonna to touch the probe. So the diameter could be a half an inch, an inch, two inches. It doesn't matter because it's going center on center. Since there's already a highlighted three inch dimension, the easiest way to change the three inches to 0.5 is simply by hitting 0.5, F1, and it changes instantly. Now I'm gonna cursor over to the next page where it gives me my probing length. The probing length is from the top of the flange to the tip of the tool. So the number that I get is 4.520, which is an approximate number. I'm gonna put 4.520 in the length offset for tool one, enter. I always double check, so I'm gonna look at it. I put 4.520, I look and I see 4.520. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the diameter. We just did a three inch shell mill, but now we're doing a half inch drill. Probing a half inch drill is a little different. The shell mill actually had a wide diameter and when probing, it offset it itself half the diameter so the tip of the insert could touch the probe. In this case, it's a drill that has a point the probe and the drill are gonna be center line together. So the drill is gonna come down, it's gonna to touch the probe, and it's gonna lift up. On the diameter call out, I'm gonna put 0.5. I'm gonna hit F1, which is gonna instantly populate the dimension. Boom, 0.5, I double checked it, looks great. Now I'm gonna cursor over to the probe type. So I'm gonna change number one for rotating with number two for non-rotating. So I'm simply going to hit two. I'm gonna enter it and instantly my probe type says non-rotating. Now that all our probing boxes, our dimensions are populated, we're gonna to hit tool offset measure it says probe selected tool. To the right of it, it says tool type. It says drill. I'm in agreement with that. So I'm gonna put my drill into the spindle. I'm gonna close my doors. And I'm simply gonna press cycle start. All right, so the drill height offset just got probed perfectly. I'm looking up into my tool length offset. The geometry is populated. It is absolutely perfect. And now we're ready to cut some chips. 